Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to, Erin Twibbles Around Aimlessly. I'm Erin and my husband and I are on a debt-free journey using a Budget Mom and Dave Ramsey inspired zero-based budget approach. Today is my favorite day out of the week. That means that today is Transfer Tuesday. This is a weekly practice that was popularized by Mary at Penny's Not Perfection. Each week on Transfer Tuesday, I make some form of money movement, large or small, to pay off debt, savings, investment, or whatever my focus is on that week. Given how unpredictable March was, really quite happy to be making any transfers at all today. When I say that this is extremely motivational, at least for me, keeps me focused on the positive, keeps me moving forward. So how much did we transfer this week? Let's jump in and find out. Okay, so this is our final check-in for February and just a show of hands in the comments of who is ready for March to start and February to be over. It was quite the month to say the least. In February, we have been working towards three different saving and debt payment goals. First and foremost, number one has been our credit card. And this first, uh, this last week, which included the 1st of March, we had our contractual payment, 270 plus a planned payment of 688. But what also came in finally after mm, about five months was one of the reimbursement checks that we were waiting for from our private insurance and that was $410. This money is specifically earmarked to go back to the credit card because the credit card was what we used to pay those bills. So that is going to give us a total of $1,370 to our credit card. Number two, we have our usual roundup challenge. Every time that I make a debit card purchase, so something coming out of one of our digital envelopes, I round up to the nearest dollar, the nearest $5, or the nearest $10. This is money that goes into a spare fund account, and this week that amount is going to be $39 and 88 cents. Number three, we have been doing the Budget Mom Feb Challenges, and this also goes into that spare funds, and that came to $45. Then last, because if you watched my video on um, a weekly check-in, then you would have seen that we did have to rely heavily on some of our sinking funds. And one of those being the emergency fund. And so a priority was to get the emergency fund uh, replenished with the money we had taken from it. And so for that, we are doing that and we are transferring 275. So that takes care of the emergency fund being replenished, tick the box, all good. Now, some people would say, well, did you really have to do such a large payment up here? No. Did I want to do a large payment up here? Yes, I did. And so that's what I did. And we'll see how that is working out for us in just a few. So total then in transfers. Hello, unicorn. It is so nice to see you today. So total in transfers, we had 1373 plus 39.88 plus 45 plus 275, and that equals a grand total of $1,732.88 that we are making to savings and to debt this week. Not too bad for things having gone to hell in a handbasket the last two weeks. So as per usual, then what we move to is my favorite part, and that is my credit card track. I share my credit card tracker and how we are going week by week. With that $1,373 gives us 10.7 squares. So we're going to about right. And we are zipping along with this. That goal line is very, 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 very much in sight. I like looking at it this way. We are closer to the finish than we were to the start. And all of this in two months, just with some minimal changes around our budget with a little bit of um, good fortune in terms of additional income coming in. But a lot of it just comes down to we, we set that goal, we made a plan, we stuck to that plan, even when we had some setbacks. So looking at 
just a short amount to go on that and to determine just how we are going. This is our final update for the month of February. So when we started February, the balance at the end of January was $7,452. Where we left off last week, we had paid a total of, um, in, for the month, $1,552, paying off 21% this month, or a total of 54% so far, owing $5,928. We made our contractual payment of $275. That was just a small percentage of about, you know, three-ish percent that came in, which is consistent with some of these other numbers, dropped us to $5,000. 526. So that payment was made yesterday on Monday. And then our extra payment today, so without that 275 of 1098, gives us a total paid in February of $2,925. We paid off 39.2% of the credit card this month. We have paid off 646 percent overall and the amount that we are down to owing is four thousand five hundred and twenty eight ish i remember i am taking from a larger number of twelve seven nine two because i have amortized so this number is not always going to match what the number is in the bank i've anticipated what that interest is going to be but our year to date that we have paid in two months eight thousand two hundred and sixty four and now I am very mad at Murphy because I'm going, how much more could I have paid off? And the last thing that I want to look at is how we are tracking against what our plan was. So this was the amortization schedule that I came up with at the beginning of the month. This is from vertex42.com. Our original plan at this point, at the end of February, we were looking at having a balance of $6,430.70. And as we just saw, we are actually sitting at a balance of $4,528 that we owe. We are well ahead of the game for March and we are tracking to be able to pay this off in mid-April. I am, yeah, I am just over the moon. And that is also why if we have to wait until the rest of April to put money back in the sinking funds, I can do that. The emergency fund wanted to get that back up right away. All of the other ones have money going back into them. So they are accumulating again, but we're looking at no longer having this in May. So we'll be able to, if we want, um, you know, if we're paying an additional 2100 or in this case, almost $3,000 per month to that card, then that's $3,000 or even $1,500 that we can easily slap aside into somewhere else. We just need to make it the month and a half. And I realize that there is risk involved. We are willing to take on that risk and hope that February was just our month of bad luck. So that overall is our progress. Our savings are coming along swimmingly. Our credit card debt, so close, so close, so close to the finish line. And that really was our biggest goal. Take today's video as a reminder for you to make a small transfer today if you can. Invest it, pay off debt, save it. Whatever it is that you are working towards, just make a small money movement, even if it's just a dollar. I'm not kidding when I say that is literally where we started at. I round up now to the nearest fifth and the nearest tenth, but we would always just round up to the nearest dollar when we first started doing that. So you can start there. Once you do, or if you have already made a money movement, for this week. Comment down below with hooray for March and let me know what you did. I love catching up and seeing what other people are doing and seeing the amount of support that other people provide. As always, remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!